The Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League, the world's first racing league featuring self-driving Formula race cars, held two races this weekend. The first featured only self-driving race cars, while the second had self-driving cars compete against human drivers. Okay, that's interesting. The qualifying time trials prior to the race wound up being chaotic, with the automatic race cars struggling to finish a lap and occasionally randomly jerking as if dodging an invisible obstruction. That's actually weird. Multiple cars spun out and at least one hit a wall. Did they not test this at all? Here's from the article. What? Here's from the article on The Verge. Uh, watch this car. Woo! Whoa! Hey, yo, hey, yo, hi, hey, yo, hi, how you doing? Um, huh. This is great. Hold on, you're about to watch a car turn into a wall, I think. Yeah, but lies. That car is still a car. It didn't turn into a wall. Oh my goodness! Misleading, misleading. <sighs> the Verge, misleading. Bad content. The just qualifying, just or sorry, during the race, the leading car spun out. The second car passed, but an official threw a yellow flag. The other cars got confused and stopped behind the stalled car. As during a caution lap, cars are not allowed to pass each other. The autonomous cars were slow, especially around corners, and seemed to get confused by the smoke from other vehicles. Oh, one car misjudged another car's braking and rear-ended it. Hmm. This sounds like a very expensive hobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jiff Keeper over on uh, in the Verge's comment says, people only watch F1 for when things go wrong, so I don't see anything bad about this. Stonks, dude. They're going to make so much money. <laughs> so many They're things wrong the with moon. this. So many layers. <laughs> That's amazing. All of the sponsors are just insurance companies. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of AI-driven cars on the road. This could be you. I what it. you're watching right now. Injured by a you. Tesla? All the traditional automakers. All the traditional automakers who have who have, this. who have paused their investments in autonomous driving. Just putting it all into this to make like Tesla look bad. Make people scared. Oh, that's so funny. This is amazing. Uh, I think that's mostly it. There's some discussion questions. What's the likely difference between programming a car to navigate a city versus programming it to complete a race? Honestly, I don't know enough complete about this to really comment on that. But for me, it's not necessarily the... Because the predictability of the track, theoretically, is a huge... Should be, should be very high. Huge advantage. Even yeah. if you are using machine vision, which you would have to be doing in order to avoid obstacles or other vehicles, um, knowing the, the basic parameters is an enormous advantage however the speed at which things are happening and the relatively speaking lack of clear rules like on a on a public street this sign means everyone should behave in in this predictable manner whereas on this track oh i see okay it's well get there first yeah right and yeah. obviously, they're going to program in some rules because they don't want their expensive machines to just get exploded. Randomly turn and drive into walls. But I mean, we've absolutely, speaking of randomly turning to the left um, and driving into walls, uh, let's, uh, yeah, this thing. Like, racing all comes down to, you know, your your risk to reward tolerance, right? So this is, this is one of the most, I'm not into racing, but this is one of the most amazing moments in race history. What is this? Um, View game move? Yeah, hold on. Let me see if I can find this. So Buddy's way behind. Uh, hold on. Where's my, oh man, where's my retention thing? This is sick! Thing? I yeah, 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 yeah. Carbon. Someone did this in real life? Yeah, someone did it. So he goes around the outside of the track at ripping speed and ends up, yeah, ends up advancing. Just like... That's so sick. Scraping along the edge. That is so sick. Yeah, I'm trying to... Man, there's... Did he do this because of some form of malfunction or did he just do this with a fully working car? And was no, like, man, yeah, he was just behind. It. He just went for it. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to send it. Um... Man, there's a way better view of it, wow. though. Okay, hold on, hold on. Here it is, here it is, here it is. So you can see him on the outside there. I'm surprised no, there's a works. there's a way better view of this, but it worked shockingly well. Man, why is, why is this video trash? Well, anyway. Yeah, I can't find it. But, uh, yeah. 
unbelievable. Oh, apparently it's now banned. Yeah, it makes for, sense. Hate for anything interesting to happen. In yeah. all seriousness, though, that is crazy dangerous, and nobody should be doing that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we've got. Uh, this is a dash cam. Here's a dash I'm cam. Voting yes on that one, Dan. Look at him go. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Wow. So even with all the friction, yeah, it passes like... passes like six cars in the corner. Wow. Yeah, absolutely wild. Kinda but like, a, I don't know, man, like a machine can't run that risk. How's it going to make that decision? How's I mean, it going to yeah, think creatively only, like, like that? Very few people do that, that's, I think. Uh, that's true. He apparently pulled eight Gs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hmm. Wow. Wow. I wonder what kind of chances there were for him to just, like, break his car doing that. Laws Earth says, I'm a fan and watched it live. He literally just tried a video game move like he used on PlayStation. <laughs> not helping. Not helping. 